Probably the most awaited movie in the history of superhero movies was Avengers Endgame, which came out in 2019. And of course, the most emotional moment was when we lost Iron Man. He inspired so many of us to be the best version of ourselves and protect the people we love, and also really, really made us want to be superheroes. What once seemed only fictional is now becoming a reality. With the invention of gadgets that mimic some of the special abilities similar to what we see in movies, our childhood fantasies have a real shot at coming true. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, hi. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon to get notified any time we upload a new video. Today we're going to look at 10 superhero gadgets that actually exist. Without further ado, let's look at number 10. Number 10. Myo Gesture Control Armband by Thalmic Labs If you think Scarlet Witch's telekinesis powers are cool and wish you could move objects just by waving your hands around, you're going to love this gadget. This device provides wireless technology that allows you to control the movement of distant objects with a wave of your hand. You can remotely control electronic devices so they turn on and off, make drones fly through the air, and much more. You wear the Mayo band on your dominant arm, right below the elbow, where the signals from your muscles are strongest. The sensors of the armband require direct contact with your skin, so don't wear it over your clothing. It works by reading the electrical activity generated by your muscles, so it looks like you are commanding objects to obey your gestures. The device is compatible with Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android systems using a wireless connection. Number 9. Spider-Man Boots and Gloves This one is arguably harder to get a hold of because it is still in production phase. The U.S. military created these Spider-Man-inspired boots and gloves that help you walk up walls using your hands and feet. Engineers at Cornell have devised a palm-sized gadget that uses the surface tension in water to make a reverse adhesive bond that can stick to glass, wood, and brick, and they're getting close to transferring this ability onto gloves and shoes to allow the wearer to climb up walls Spider-Man style. They found that the more holes the gloves and boots had, the stronger the suction got. These holes, if made even tinier, 1,000 times smaller than the width of a human hair to be exact, it would have the suction power to hold an entire person. But if it was that powerful, would you be able to come unstuck? Yes, they were able to find a way to use an electrical field to reverse the suction too, thus becoming unstuck on demand, just like our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Might take a few practice tests, but that's true of any superhero origin story, right? Time to start stitching your suits. Number 8. The Rocket Belt by TAM If it's flying that you're most excited about, the Mexican startup Tecnología Aerospacial Mexicana, or TAM, is the only company in the world that makes custom rocket belts. They use aerospace materials for making their belts, and it truly allows you to fly in the air like Superman. But this tech doesn't come cheap. Their custom-built TAM rocket belts go for $250,000 each, and the price includes flight and maintenance training. On a full tank of hydrogen peroxide, the belt weighs 125 to 140 pounds, but that also depends on the weight of the wearer. The bigger the pilot, the bigger the belt, basically. A full tank will give you 30 seconds of flight. If you're looking for a longer flight time, TAM's only competitor is Jetpack International, a Colorado-based company that sells the world's longest flying jetpack. Technically, this claim is true. Their Jetpack H202 can stay in the air for 33 seconds, three seconds longer than TAM's model. The H202 weighs 139 pounds and is competitively priced at $155,000, also including flight and maintenance training. Number 7. The Doc Ock Suit Okay, this one isn't a superhero, but it's definitely one of the coolest suits in superhero movies. Inspired by Dr. Octopus in the Spider-Man movies, 19-year-old Eric Finman, who made his fortune with Bitcoin, invested his earnings into creating an exoskeleton suit using 3D printing. It may be a villain's suit, but it is being used for a good cause. It was made for an 11-year-old boy called Aristu Meehan, who is Finman's mentor's son. 
Aristu suffers from hypermobility issues, and the suit is made to work as a prosthetic prototype for him. The arms are controlled via rear-mounted microcontrollers and eight motors which power the thing, driving its arms and allowing it to lift objects. The user controls the arms using the two middle fingers on each hand, fitted into a glove which allows all four arms to be manipulated on multiple axes. It can lift lightweight things, but with more upgrades, it could even lift a car. Number 6. Batman Armor and Helmet This ridiculously expensive suit is bulletproof, light, and agile. There is quite a pattern of militaries spending money on superhero tech, and this one is among their many ventures. Batman, or Battlefield Air Targeting Man-Aided Knowledge, wow, that name is kind of a reach, well, besides the effort put into the name, Batman is an attempt to modernize the way heavy military gear is taken on combat missions. While soldiers usually must carry about 160 pounds of equipment, the Batman-enhanced tech can decrease the payload and promises more agility. The general aim is that it must be lighter, smarter, and deadlier, just like Batman's. So just like what we see in the movies, the suit has a small computer near the chest that tells them their logistical position and which tactics they should implement given any situation. It comes with communications gear, helmet displays, a headset, and a computer, plus all the batteries they need to keep the suit going. And speaking of Batman, take a look at what this MIT student got up to after graduation. Number 5. Batman Utility Belt This MIT graduate created a battery-powered rope ascender, basically the Batman utility belt. Nathan Ball, along with some of his MIT friends, were tasked with creating a 25-pound package capable of lifting 250 pounds 50 feet into the air in five seconds or less. A tall order, but after working on it for two and a half years, it became a reality. After he won $30,000 for his design, the team founded Atlas Devices LLC to develop and market their officially named Atlas Powered Rope Ascender. It's a great tool that can be used by firefighters, military, and window washers. Or if you need to scale a building in the dead of night when you are crime fighting. If you think that's cool, wait until we get to number one. All right, let's continue. Number four, Iron Man Exoskeleton. Yeah, we know this already sounds incredible. But spoiler alert, you probably won't be able to get your hands on this. This awesome exoskeleton, called Iron Man by its creators, was made to help increase mobility and strength by using basic robotics to enhance or multiply whatever movement the soldier is making. That means that if you throw a punch that could lightly bruise someone, the suit would amplify it and make it so the same punch would go through thick wooden planks, or someone's face. The suit can even lift up rockets as if they were shotguns. This basically makes the weakest soldier on the field the strongest. It requires little to no effort to operate this machine. For now, though, its only functions are lifting extremely heavy weapons, food, and other military supplies. Number 3. Wolverine's Claws We know Wolverine's superpower is his accelerated regenerative ability, but we have a long way to go before we can develop that for ourselves. For now, we'll have to make do with this awesome set of retractable claws. No, unfortunately, they are not made from adamantium. One ingenious British inventor, Colin Furs, has actually managed to build a working set of retractable metal claws, and they are 30.5 centimeters long. They can be controlled using a button and are actually very sharp. Now all he needs to do is find a way to integrate them into his flesh and replace his organic skeleton. Number 2. Invisibility Cloaks I don't know about you, but whenever I'm asked the question, if you could have any superpower you want, what would it be? My answer always has been invisibility. Many superheroes use some form of advanced tech to gain this ability, but with the potential for such technology now, it's no surprise that inventors and companies have attempted to achieve it over the years. Probably the closest we have come to this is with the active camouflage by Mercedes-Benz. This promotional stunt used an LED-dotted fabric with a camera on the opposite side of the intended surface. This fabric was able to provide almost real-time projection of the background behind the cloak onto the front of it to simulate the car being invisible. 
Although it wasn't completely cloaked, it was a good way to prove it's possible to pull it off. University of Rochester researchers have also created technology that has the ability to bend light around objects, thus making them invisible. They achieved this by using four lenses placed very strategically according to a particular equation and the lens's focal points. Well, truth is, some militaries could already have the technology and be using it. How would we ever know? All right, finally at number one. Before we check that out, though, if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to leave us a like. Now, we saved the coolest for last. Number one, Mjolnir, a.k.a. Thor's Hammer. Thor's legendary hammer, Mjolnir, is famous for being able to be wielded only by the worthy. For the unworthy, which is literally everyone except Thor, and as we learned recently, Captain America, Mjolnir simply cannot be lifted off the ground. Taking this as a challenge, Alan Pan, a YouTuber, created his very own working Mjolnir. To make the hammer immovable, he used strong magnets. Inside the head of his hammer, he packed a microwave oven transformer electromagnet, which uses electricity to produce a magnetic field. This creates a very strong magnetic pull, so strong that the hammer, when placed on an immovable metal surface, like a locked manhole cover, feels too heavy to lift. The handle is attached to a capacitive touch sensor, which in turn is attached to an Arduino Pro Mini and a solid-state relay, which serves as a switching device. As soon as someone grasps the handle, the electromagnets switch on, attaching the hammer to the metal surface. But how does Alan Pan lift it? Well, the hammer can be turned off using a fingerprint sensor keyed to Pan's thumbprint. When Alan grabs the hammer, the magnets switch on. When he moves his thumb over the sensor, it switches off again, allowing Pan to lift the hammer. The hammer, however, will not return to you if you throw it. Well, that's it for this video. Which gadget do you look forward to owning? Let us know in the comments down below, and be sure to share this with a fellow superhero fan. Also, make sure you hit that bell icon so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.